All right. Uh, retro tech is two part this week. So one of the things that we're doing, we have a little kiddo now. Um, so eventually kiddo is going to have a computer. So I'm cobbling together some stuff I had, some stuff that we're hacking and modding to have it work together. And one of the ideas is like a kid computer um, that's, you know, kind of funny, interesting, maybe some stuff that's not available anymore. Uh, we have some Hasbro and Mattel and like uh, Baby Einstein stuff. You can see some of our guides, like a game controller that's also like a USB game controller. And then um, this, I thought this was interesting. So this is the Crayola, um, let me make sure, the Easy Type keyboard. And there's a mouse that goes along with this. But it's um, it's a kit. Uh, it was called the Easy Type it's Computer. It's also key. Yeah, it was called the uh, Easy Type Keyboard and Mouse Computer Kit. So if I were kids of mine, the keyboard has this. It's qwerty, you know, it's large, but it, it's not it's not your normal. It doesn't look like your normal keyboard. Um, there's some things that people either will love or hate with it. Um, I like the proper arrow keys. Yeah, um, and then there was another one that came out. Um, this is this is a you know the internet uh occurred um so this came out in 2010 and it was from sakar international it's uh basically like the i think someone said this is the big keyboard uh it was something that was rebranded for crayola you can see they have little crayons and, and it's colorful um this is the back of it Let's see some of these things and you can pick these up super cheap i think i got this for like five bucks um, and then, you know, here's both of them together. So this will be one of the keyboards for one of the like kid computers, um, that we do. It's, it's USB, so it'll work. Um, and it also plugs into lots of different things. Um, there's a mouse. Um, I'm not going to probably get that. Uh, there's an optical mouse and then there's like a, a, a mouse pad and you can put like a picture in it. That wasn't that interesting to me, but I, I thought this was kind of neat. These are really colorful i mean they kind of look cool imagine like rolling in with this to work just be like hey that and the little game pad yeah and then um this i used to do a uh weekly article on a gadget called watch this wednesday and it was just like weird watches and we have a collection of super weird watches because we you know have done or wanted to do um some diy diy watches but these are like just this is kind of just for fun so these are gaming watches but they're they don't play games um, this is a, a reference to the console war back when it was Sony PlayStation one and the Sega Saturn, um, it, like, you know, fight to the death. And, um, it's a great book by the way, the console wars book. Yeah. I read it. It was hilarious. And yeah, it's brutal. And so, um, you can see the neat thing about this, they're, they're wristwatch, but when you, um, uh, flip the top, instead of it being a game, cause it's not CDs, these are, uh, you know, you tell the time. And uh, I thought this was neat. So this is going in our, our pile of uh, cool watches that uh, we like. I don't know. Where did where'd you get this one? Uh, this was uh, from Japan. And they were in vending machines. This is totally an Akihabara-like thing. I can yeah. totally imagine. It's like... I think they were called uh, Gashapan. Gashapan yeah. machines. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, that's, uh, that's our retro uh, this week. Enjoy!